Hey guys, welcome to another biology class. Today we'll be talking about irritability. Irritability. Now, what is irritability? Irritability is the ability of an organism to perceive and respond to changes in the internal and external environment. Or we could just say it is the ability of an organism to perceive and respond to stimuli. So stimuli is or st stimulus is a singular of st stimuli. Stimuli is the plural. Now stimulus is a change in condition which, pr which produces a change in the activities of, the, of an organism or a part of the body. So as we mentioned, the stimulus can be either external or internal. Now external stimuli are those that are environmental factors that evoke response. Internal stimuli are the internal or the ones found inside the body of an organism that evoke response. Now, organisms respond to stimulus in three ways majorly, which are tactic, nastic, and tropic responses. Tastic, tactic, nastic, and tropic responses. So let's talk about these types of ways that organisms respond to stimulus. Tactic response or taxis is a directional type of response or movement in which the whole organism moves from one place to another in response to external stimulus. So, tactic response involves the movement of the whole organism, not just body parts of the organism, in response to stimulus. And the examples of the stimulus that the organism could be responding to include light, temperature, water or some certain chemicals now since we said this type of response is directional it could be positive or negative now if an organism moves towards the stimulus it is a positive type of taxis now if the organism moves away from the stimulus it is a negative type of taxis so, based on the different stimulus that organisms respond to, we also have various types of taxism. We have phototaxis, chemotaxis, aerotaxis, and so on and so forth. So, let's talk about some of those types of taxis and give examples. Now, phototaxis is a response to light. And it is exhibited by phototropic organisms. Now, this um, a, a kind of photo, a kind of positive phototaxis is exhibited in organisms that move towards their light source to take advantage of the light. Examples are photosynthetic organisms, like the some photosynthetic bacteria and green plants. So they grow towards the light. They move towards the light. So that is a positive kind of phototaxis. Now, the negative phototaxis is one which the organism moves away from the light source. An example is some, in some certain insects. So, insects like cockroaches are found in dark places. So, that is negative phototaxis. So, for chemotaxis, some bacteria exhibit chemotaxis. So, this an example of a positive chemotaxis that uh, organisms exhibit is bacteria moving towards where food is or where concentration of food is like uh, the food they eat is glucose so the glucose is the chemical substances this chemical substance that those organisms are moving towards so that is a positive chemotaxis so as the name implies chemotaxis movement towards chemical substances now let's go to another type of response which is called nastism or nastic response nastism or nastic response now this type of response is a type of response where an a plant moves in response to non-directional stimulus such as changes in light intensity changes in temperature and changes in humidity now nastic responses are usually described according to the stimulus evoking them so we could have the nasty, different types of nasty stimulus based on their stimulus, just like in taxes. So let's talk about the different types of 
Nastism or Nastic response that we have. One is Nightinasty. Nightinasty is a response to the changing in day and night condition. For, what we mean by that is, it's just a response to either night or day. An example is the opening of the petals of the sun flower during the day and the closing of those petals during the night. Another example is the closing of the morning glory flower when the light intensity is low. So that is nightinasty. Another type of nastism is aptonasty. And this is a response due to contact or touch. An example is the infolding of the leaflet of mimosa plant when touched. Mimosa plant is also known as sensitive plant. So when this plant is touched, it, the leaflet close up. So that is a response to touch. Another example is the closing of the leaflets of flamboyant tree. So that is haptonasty. Now, tropic, let's go to the, another, the last type of response or irritability that we have, which is tropic response or tropism. Now, this type of response is a type of response in which a part of a plant moves in response to directional stimulus. So basically recapping, taxism is the movement of the whole body part or the whole organism in response to directional stimulus. Nastism is the movement of an organism in response to non-directional stimulus. While tropic response or tropism is the movement of just parts of a plant in response to directional stimulus. Now, tropism is just referring to growth movement according to the stimulus. And we have various types as based on the type of stimulus that they are re responding to. Phototropism, which is a response to light. Hydrotropism, which is a response to water. Chemotropism, which is a response to chemicals. The geotropism, which is a response to gravity. So let's talk about some of this kind of tropism and they are and examples of organisms exhibiting tropism. So phototropism, as we've said, it is the growth movement in response to light. So it could also it could be positive or negative. For example, the part the shoot of a plant is positively phototropic. What that means is that the shoot of a plant grows towards the light. And we could say the roots of a plant is negatively phototropic because most roots grow negatively or grow away from the direction of light. Now let's talk about geotropism. Now geotropism is the response or is the growth of plants in response to the force of gravity. And an example of positive geotropism is the move is the movement of roots or the growth of roots so that is the roots growing in the direction or in, of the force of gravity so roots grow in the direction of gravity while the stem for example grows upward or negative in the pos in the direction of gravity so stems have negative geotropism while roots have positive geotropism let's also talk about chemotropism which is the response of plants to concentration of chemical substances for example roots react positively to the presence of salt but react negatively to the presence of alkaline solutions or acid now let's go to another type of tropism which is known as haptotropism or thigmotropism. Now this is a response of plants to contact and is characteristic of tendrils and other organs by which plants secure support. So for example, the yam or yam tuber specifically when they grow, they grow they look for support. So the that part of the plant grows around the tendrils grows around support maybe a stick that's been provided so that is aptotropism now positive aptotropism is growth towards contact or growth towards touch for example the as we've described the tendrils of a yam 
of a yam growing around support while negative response or negative th thingotropism is growing is the roots of a plant growing away from stones so that is aptotropism so with that we've come to the end of today's lesson on irritability see you next class